Hey guys, how's it going? It's Paul here again, guys. I'm gonna take you guys on a step-by-step -step process how to complete the stimulus SBA loan application. Now, this is for the ten thousand dollars advance grant. Guys, let me go to the step-by-step -step to show you how to complete this application for the ten thousand dollars forgivable SBA loan application. So, okay, so this is the first page. The first thing that you have to, the first thing that you have to do, you have to choose your eligibility. The second one is if you're an individual who operates under a super relationship with or without employees, this is probably the one that most of you guys fall under. So for me, I do have an actual business. So let's go. It's number one for me. And you have to review and check all the following. Have you been engaged on any illegal activities? So this is a no. Have you dealing with on your child support obligations? This is a no. So guys, you have to read this thing and check. If any applies to you, none of this thing applies to me. I'm not a part of an agricultural enterprise. This is a no. I don't do live performances. This is also a no. I don't get the third of my income from legal gambling. I don't gamble, so this is a no. I don't do any lobbying. And lastly, I'm not a, I'm not a member of a local state or government. So check these boxes based on your situation. None of these boxes applies to me, so let's go continue. Business name, Sunset Realty. Trade name, my trade name is also my business name. It's Sunset Realty. EIN number. If you have a business, you have an EIN number. Under your social provider, should be maybe your social security number. Organization. I have a corporation. So EIN number, let's just pick a number here. So I have done this for myself already. I'm going to the steps so I can show you exactly how it's done. Are you a non-profit? No, we're not a non-profit. We're not part of a franchise. That's also a no. Gross revenue for the last 12 months prior to the disaster date, which is dated here as January 31st, 2020. So let's say uh, 100,000. Cost of goods sold. We don't, we, don't, we don't sell any goods. Rental property. So I'm, I'm thinking here, if you have a rental property, you have a loss of income based on what's going on right now, you probably have to fill this out. So none of this apply to us. So let's go down to the business address. Business address, let's say 123 K Street, City of Fort Lauderdale, City of Fort Lauderdale. State of, uh, we are in Florida, guys. Look us up if you're ever down here. And the beautiful city of Fort Lauderdale, Broward, in Broward County, our zip code is business phone number, obviously. Let's pick a number here. If you want to give them a second phone number, a fax number, an email, the date the business was established. If you're not sure the date that your business was established, check with your state for your corporation. The date should be on there. Our business was established in 2010, and I've been the owner ever since, so that's 2010. Business activity. Obviously, you have to pick based on the kind of business that you do. We are in real estate, so real estate, realty, number of employees. And then again, if you're self-employed super proprietorship, you pay yourself 1099 as one employee, so you have to put one in here. Let's say, let's say 15. Business email. Let's do a business email here. Okay, guys, so let's go next. And then this is the owner's name. You have to fill out the owner's name. Mobile number. Let's pick out another number here. And guys, here, as the owner of the business, you have to complete this whole page. It's pretty self-explanatory, guys. It's not much. They updated the website. They revamped the website last night, which makes it a lot, user, a lot more user-friendly and 100% more easier to use. And one thing I forgot to mention, guys, on top of this page, when you get to page two on top of the page, 
you have to answer this question. Is your business owned by a business entity? That's going to, that's going to be a no. What's your what's what's percentage of ownership you have on your business? I'm doing this. Remember, guys, I'm doing this for myself. So you have to do it based on your situation. I have 100 ownership on my business. And then again, the same thing again here is the email address. As the owner, you will have to enter your social security number. Date of birth, let's do 1-1-1999. Place of birth. You know, you should know where your place of birth is. Let's see. That's not my place of birth, by the way. Are you a citizen? Yes. And then, guys, the second page is all your personal information. Your name, your address, your date of birth, your social security number. In your residential address, guys. So let's do the same thing again here. One, two, three. Okay, street. City of Fort Lauderdale. City of Fort. Let's do the same thing here. One, two, three. K street. City of Fort Lauderdale. City of Fort Lauderdale. The state is Florida. Three, 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 two, two. Okay, so now let's do. So we, we have three questions here you have to answer. First one, have you been convicted in the past? Obviously, this for me, this is a no. The second one, have you been, ever been suspended from doing business with the government? For me, this is a no. And the third one, and the third one, are you currently under an indictment for any criminal activities or being found guilty? In the last six months this is also a no for me and this last portion here guys if you're doing this yourself you don't have to complete it so now we get to the place that we've been looking for this is the box that we have to check this is what we've been looking for so we'll check that your bank name our bank name is chase account number let's pick an account number and your bank writing number let's pick a writing number here and guys that's pretty much it and once you get to the bottom of this page, this is pretty much your electronic signature, which states that I hereby certify under penalty and perjury under the law of the United States that the above is true and correct. We will check this one and go next. So on the next page, guys, you're going to take your time and review the information that you just put in on the last three pages. Okay? So the last page, guys. Here, I want you guys to take your time on this page, review all the information you put in, your social security number, your EIN number, and more importantly, your bank account and writing numbers. So make sure you review all the information, check and double check. And after you've done that, you scroll all the way down. You state that I'm not a robot. And then you are all done. That's it. Once you hit submit, you will receive. I have already done this for myself, so I'm not going to submit it. So this is what you will receive after you hit submit, an application number. Keep that application number in a safe place because if you do call them, you will need that number so they can verify who you are. Anyway, guys, that's it. I took us about 10, 15 minutes, so it's not a long process at all. And that's it, guys, and you're done. So keep the application number, just in case you need to contact them, you will need to refer to that application number to verify who you are. As always, guys, thank you again for watching. If this is your first time here, my name is Paul with Sunset Realty. Please subscribe. We'd love to have you as a subscriber. So subscribe so you don't miss any of our next videos. Peace. Peace.